The third one, the interesting one, if the first two aren't interesting enough, is token. Um, man, the GX token was, for all intents and purposes, meant to be, was meant to be something that regulated, excuse me, I'm losing my voice, I apologize for that. But the GX token was, for all intents and purposes, meant to be the coin that regulated how many brokers there were inside of GX Broker. So we said 1,000 coins, 350, 000, mil, 350 million coins in total, 350,000 brokers. That was the purpose. If it was going to ever, it was going to find secondary market value, it was going to find that because the amount of brokers that were coming in exceeded the amount of people that were selling brokers, selling their, losing their brokers, brokerships. Honestly, that's what I wanted to keep it as because I felt like that was, first of all, more than robust enough. I never thought or never wanted the GX token to be Bitcoin. I never thought, I never wanted the GX token to be Tether. But it's not, it wasn't meant to be, it's not that it wasn't meant to be valuable. It could have been very valuable, but it wasn't meant to be like the most everyday, oh, you're, you're, you got GXT today? Like, no, it's, it's staked so that I can build my brokerage. And we would have scaled the amount of brokers over time. But what I've realized over the last really month or so, two months, if I was to expand that view is that, is that A, people didn't, I guess people didn't understand that. That's the first thing I realized. And they thought that, that a token magically starts trading per se, even though we made it clear that technically speaking, the GX token shouldn't be trading because it should be staked. Um, okay, no problem. You know, I hear everything. I don't respond to everything, but I hear everything simply because I think actions speak louder than words. So then I got back at the drawing board. I said, look, right now, these are the amount of tokens that are out there. This many contracts are staked. We know what everything looks like. We've committed to building our own internal order book, a la Tellers. We know what that looks like. We've done absolutely no marketing. Apart from the marketing that our brokers have done to onboard more brokers via the GX token. Let's change some things up without, without, without defaulting on what we've already done, which is obviously the, the, the GX token for the people that have staked it inside of broker to become a OTC broker and whatnot seems true. Apart from that, it's a very small amount of people. So we put together a use case list of our direct to consumer apps, which again, right now you see two. There's about 10 that have nothing to do with each other, that have all very interesting audiences. And how about we make it so that GX token goes from being a currency used to stake, which it will always be for the people that are already doing it. But like I said, that's a small amount of people. We just grab follow those people. It's not a big deal. And now make it something that's used for transactions. Okay. So first of all, whenever you hear someone say that you should be highly skeptical because no cryptocurrency is used for transactions. Cryptocurrency, even Bitcoin is used for moving dollars. If you want more information on that, we can have another podcast about that. Bitcoin is used for moving dollars. Hopefully one day dollars will be used for moving Bitcoin. That's my goal. But as of now, Bitcoin is used for moving dollars. Which means the idea that there's some cryptocurrency with inherently currency transactional value is, is obviously not true. It's not true for Bitcoin, it ain't true for nobody. Maybe Tether, but not yet because it's sketchy and people need more belief cycle around it. So what, what I, when I say transactional, I simply mean that there has to be one or more plot, one or more merchants could be software companies, could be ecosystems, could be retailers, e-commerce, whatever, that instead of taking dollars, 
takes GXT. Now, every company and their mother has tried to do this. Trust me, I've seen it all. I've seen every coin come out and say, we have all the hotels in Spain that are willing to take our coin. We have all the gas stations in Colombia willing to take our coin. And we have all of the, yeah, I've heard so many of that, all of that I immediately dismiss. That's not how things work. It's like saying I have all of the Italian restaurants in the Bronx that take my, that take US dollars. That wouldn't go very far. So what you actually need, which again, I might put Tether in this category, but I, I'd have to rethink that statement a little bit, is you need platforms that are using dollars, but giving an alternative to also pay in GX, GX or whatever currency instead of dollars, but they're always gonna take dollars. What does that look like? That the closest thing I could say to that is Costco. I've given this example before, I think, like Costco says, not with their own coin, obviously, but just with discounts. If you're a Costco, not a Costco member, it's X. If you're a Costco member, it's X minus Y. Which means whatever that minus Y is valuable to the degree to that's valuable is whatever they're, whatever they're asking you to pay for it. So if they're asking you to buy a Costco membership, and the why, and you're buying you know, gallons of milk or whatever it is, and it's more expensive than the Costco membership, that's there. Alternative to Costco could just say, you can only get in here if you're using a Costco membership. That would be more like Sam's Club or something. Immediately, that currency, whether they're gonna call it a currency, a Costco membership is not a currency, you can very much abstract it as one. It becomes as valuable as how many other people shop at Costco. Not directly one-to-one, -one, but you, you can write a, cor an, a correlation equation. In other words, the value, the value of using GXT as a transactional currency has to be denominated in dollars, but it has to be accept, has to be paid in GXT, not the other way around. So that we've now already done that again why i'll explain there is approximately like 2000 contract stake like broker contract stake those guys are holding most of the gxt they're not all having a thousand some have more way more some have way less they're holding all of the primary market GXT. And then of course, there's like a couple thousand on tellers or whatever it is, but that's not, we haven't really pumped. We're gonna really push that now. We have withholding the sale of primary GXT from now on, which means that you cannot buy GXT directly from the company. You have to buy it from someone on tellers. That's given, which means that whatever the total circulating supply of GXT is, it's not 350 million, it's way less than that. That's the only place you can get GXT. I've already gone over this, right? In some degree in previous videos. And now every time the roadmap you'll see, not, it's not really a roadmap because it's the today map, you'll see that there are certain things that are in the direct to consumer area that are not stake GXT like the brokers. That's, that's, that's the broker stuff. No, no, no. It's, you pay for it in GXT. Since, we're the, since we own most of those direct consumer businesses, we can do that. I said something like the broker app as a technology just for use, which might cost five to $10 a month, like a Netflix subscription. And you can have access to any company and all that. I've talked about VSA in the same fashion where you can pay for it in GXT. Crypto lottery has not had any GXT involvement. It now will. Every single application, every movement in global exchange will have a currency requirement for GXT. That's not, it's not that that wasn't done because we didn't know how to, it's because I didn't want to. Now I'm on a mission to make GXT. And all I have to do is I don't have to make 350 million 
valuable. I have to make the primary market sale amount valuable, which is a lot less. And now when you want to do something, and I, I'm, I'm being very careful not to say those use cases, but you will see them. And some of them are preposterously addictive from the perspective of useful on a daily basis that has nothing to do with crypto. And those people will mindlessly buy GXT. Do you know why? Because they don't care about GXT. The person that needs to use GXT for crypto lottery, and I haven't explained what the use case is yet, but let's just say there comes to be, he doesn't care about GXT because he's not buying it to stake it. He's not buying it. I mean, some might, it might if that's the use case, but I'm just saying he's not buying it to resell it. Especially if it's, buying, if it, if it's not a stake, if it's just a consumption, the, 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 the 30, 40 G, whatever the amount of GXT you need to pay every month to us to become a broker, it's not a stake, it's a spend to us. Like we're consuming that back. We're essentially buying it back in the format of a service. That guy doesn't care about GXT. He cares about, oh my God, this platform is only accepting the strange GXT currency. Where can I get some? And you scale that use case after use case with groups of people that have nothing to do with each other. And immediately, I assure you, there will be no liquidity left in the secondary GXT market once I'm done with that. So anybody that wants to sell their GXT, you will sell it in the next several months, I would say. I might start buying quite a bit back because if you put two and two together, if I'm successful in what I just said, are those payments, payment requirements for those highly addictive applications? If they're highly addictive, I understand that's an assumption. Are they gonna stop once you guys sell your GXT? Nope, they're not. You just won't have any more. Which means when demand overtakes price, I mean supply, price starts to go way up. And in order to incubate that, in order to have a laser focus on the GX token as the primary blood flow of what we're talking about, of all the DTC applications, of the broker 2.0 movement. We've built a destination. I always said we're not interested anymore in listing on this exchange, that exchange, the other. You do it on tellers, but it's bigger than tellers. Like, I mean, it's not bigger than tellers. It's, it's GXT is its own entity because it's going to be used by people gambling, people investing, buying crypto, and a bunch of other things that have nothing to do with even financial services. 